So one of the things that I know I use so much in my training, my professional work at Cloudinary, just even personal life now is background removal that's AI driven. So that means that essentially we're using an AI based model to be able to detect what the foreground is, what the background is and remove the background. And I've used that for so many different projects. And Aditya, as I'm seeing here now, if I have things that are tied to automobiles and cars, we've actually created some variances of our tried and true AI background and removal. Is that correct? Yeah, that's accurate. Um, we, as you may be aware, and some of our customers, um, we've been providing AI background removal for a while now, but, um, we are looking to address some of the unique needs of our customers in the automotive sector, car dealers, uh, car manufacturers who deal with, um, thousands, millions of, you know, car images. And they come with, you know, some sort of a background. Uh, and usually there's a lot of manual workflows involved in removing these backgrounds. And in some cases, there are some automated techniques to, to address the background removal. Uh, but here we are particularly addressing um, a complex challenge with car images. Uh, as you can see, cars have windows. And oftentimes, the background extend, is seen through the windows as well. And many of the solutions out there are not able to address that particular aspect of background removal uh, when it comes to car images. So with this new AI-based uh, algorithm that we've created, uh, we can even identify background that may be visible through those transparent car windows and then be able to uh, very cleanly and accurately remove them. And the, the example you have here is very powerful, in my opinion, because if you look at this car, and you particularly look at what you talked about, the windows, you'll see that there's varying levels of glare and different, like essentially light that's coming through based on whether the light's coming from the front and the side. You can see there's more glare on the side, particularly on the driver's side. And it, what's neat about this is that it's able to detect a lot of these things. The, the model has been able to learn, regardless of what this is, be able to show that the background across all parts of the car has truly been removed. It's it's truly phenomenal. And if I were involved with any form of vehicle manufacturing, I said, I need to scale this transformation across tens or thousands of assets and make sure that they don't have the background or at least have it where we have a version that makes sure that the foreground and background have been clearly removed from each other. This is something that is really only possible with what Cloudinary is providing today. Yeah. And as a bonus, um, I know many car dealers, car manufacturers, uh, want to also apply other effects to these images to make them pop. And if some folks might remember in our last video, we covered drop shadow as AI based drop shadow as one of the features. Well, this is a great example of combining two transformations in, in one single command and be able to not only remove the background, but also apply a drop shadow potentially to the car image uh, in a single sort of uh, transformation. You know what? I hadn't even thought about that, but Aditi, you're absolutely right. And that is the wonderful, powerful part of Cloudinary is that we have so many transformations that you can apply to images and videos. So there are ones that make natural sense to pair with each other. And you did a great job of articulating that. And now I'm going to go away from this video and try this out. Background removal and drop shadow, thanks to the automobile situation we have here. This is fabulous. This is absolutely fabulous. So I'm very excited. Paul, how do you do this? <laughs> well, it's really, there's a couple of ways to do it, actually. Um, so I'll demonstrate two ways to do it. So here we have an image of a car. Um, again, like not to re rehash too much of what it did you said, but you know, we have this car in front of a dealer. And if you can see closely between the, um, yeah, the windshield, you can actually see the, the dealership doors. And when you do the background removal, if you're going to do the use case where you take that, that background removed card, maybe put it into your know, beach setting or maybe like a, a, a ski setting or something, just depending on the winter sale or summer sale, you want to make sure that that background is, is going to be accurate to whatever 
sorry, so you want to make sure that the background is showing through so the image is accurate to what your setting is. So um, one way to do this is, uh, I'll go to the code view, is to do this as an update. So if we look at this this car here, this is currently in my um, in my media library, and I can simply come in here and I can call it what's called an update using the Cloudinary API. So this is going to take the image that exists in my um, in my library, and it's going to apply the background removal transformation, and I'm going to tell it to use a Cloudinary AI to do that. Now the AI is going to detect that there's a car there, and it's going to apply that this new automotive background removal. Um, if you wanted to be very specific, you could pass along the car hint. Um, which is a way to tell the AI, hey, there's a car here, make sure that you apply this. But for a car, for an image, a source image as straightforward as this, it's not necessary. It's going to detect it on its own. So I'll hit save and I'll, I'll run this code. Um, and this will take about 10 seconds to run. And if I come back in to here um, and hit refresh, we'll find the background removed uh, quite shortly. And there it is. So the background has been removed. What I could do from here is I could actually apply the transformations like it just said, like the drop shadow, et cetera. But there's actually another way to do it, another way to do this on the fly. So I have another copy of this uh, image in my library. And if you look at my code up here, I'm using the URL transformation API. I'm simply passing the E background removal effect. Um, and that is going to use a Cloudinary AI to remove the background. And I'm actually going to be passing the drop shadow effect that we covered last week, um, as Aditya mentioned. And if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But there are three settings uh, for the new uh, AI drop shadow that we can add. Um, azimuth, elevation, and spread. Azimuth being the, being the angle of the light, elevation being the height of the light, and spread being you know, the spread of the shadow. So what I've done here is I've actually gone in and I've started to maybe uh, play with these settings a bit. So the drop shadow is actually matching the shadow that we see here. Um, on the uh, source image. So it adds its level of accuracy. And, and we've done this all on the fly, uh, chained the transformation of the drop shadow and the background removal. You could then maybe take this, save this image and add it to various other uh, backgrounds, or you could even maybe add it as an overlay on the fly using Cloudinary. So really powerful, really easy to use, um, both from um, so the backend code perspective, but also using the URL transformation. And what I loved about the example you gave is something that I can see happening a lot where let's say that I did have, let's say 10,000 pictures of cars and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh no, now that they have this new feature, do I have to re-upload all of those? But I, what I liked is that you were using the update feature of our APIs to say, no, you can easily go through and retroactively apply this transformation, which I think is a real use case. Exactly. Yeah. If you have a hundred images, you can loop them and, 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 um, and, and, and do the background removal. Just to call out, um, just want to make sure it's visible. You can see the background. If we call the doors that were there before, they're gone. And there is actually a bit of a tint here. So that window effect is there. So if I was to drop this into a background, you would actually see the, the window effect. Amazing. Truly amazing. So Aditya, now that I think I'm amazed, hopefully someone else is watching this is amazed too. Is there any final thoughts, any additional things that you want to be able to add about this awesome AI background removal transformation? Um, as always, excited to you know see how our customers use this. We're we're always open for feedback. So, um, looking forward to you know seeing customers going to use this transformation and uh, hopefully deriving value out of it.